A single modern fighter jet costs more than most people will earn in multiple lifetimes. Now, imagine 80 of them packed tightly onto a floating fortress the size of a city. One single mistake, one spark, or one wrong move could vanish billions of dollars in seconds. Yet, the United States Navy accomplishes this difficult feat every single day on the open ocean. They store the most advanced machines ever built in one of the most demanding environments on Earth. The question isn't just how they managed to do it, but how they perfected this process. What you are about to discover will change how you see American naval power forever. Right now, the United States operates 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers cruising across the world's oceans. Each one of these incredible ships carries around 80 aircraft worth billions of dollars combined. These are not just parked planes. They are combat-ready machines that can launch and land quickly. Let's first start with the immensely valuable hardware, the jets stored on these massive carriers. The F-35C Lightning II, designed for carrier operations, costs over $100 million per unit. Then there is the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet, the reliable workhorse of United States carrier aviation. Recent contracts price these impressive jets between $65 and $80 million for each aircraft. When you multiply that by 80 aircraft, you're looking at six to eight billion dollars. That is a flying investment larger than the entire gross domestic product of some small nations. All of this must be stored and maintained in the middle of the ocean, far from home. Losing even one of these advanced machines would be a significant strategic and financial setback. So how does the Navy keep this multi-billion dollar inventory safe? It starts deep below deck. Most people only see the jets on the flight deck, but that is only a fraction. The flight deck itself can only hold around 20 aircraft at any one given time. The rest are stored two decks below in a massive, protected space called the hangar bay. This is not just a simple parking garage. It is an engineering marvel of immense proportions. The hangar bay on a Nimitz-class carrier is 685 feet long and 110 feet wide. It is longer than two football fields and tall enough to fit a two-story building inside. It is packed with over 60 fighter jets, spare engines, fuel tanks, and maintenance equipment. The hangar bay is divided into four separate zones, sealed off by massive sliding steel doors. This is a critical fire safety feature. If a fire starts, the door slams shut, containing it. This fail-safe system has protected lives and valuable aircraft on more than one occasion. But this enormous hangar is not just for storage. It's also a fully functional workshop. Maintenance crews work around the clock, replacing parts and running diagnostics on every single jet. In the back, the Aircraft Intermediate Maintenance Division, or AIMD, keeps this entire fleet flying. They repair complex avionics, test jet engines, and troubleshoot highly advanced onboard systems. It they accomplish all of this while the massive ship is, is moving through the ocean at speed. Imagine trying to fix a hundred million dollar jet while the floor beneath you is constantly rocking. Storing the jets is only half the battle. The real magic moves them to the flight deck. Moving a 30-ton fighter jet from the hangar to the flight deck seems almost impossible. The Navy does it dozens of times a day, 
using advanced high-speed elevator systems. On Nimitz-class carriers, there are four massive aircraft elevators located on the deck edge. These platforms are large enough to hold a fully armed FA-18 Super Hornet aircraft. They can lift that jet from the hangar to the flight deck in under one minute. They use a heavy-duty cable and pulley system, but on a scale you can barely imagine. Each elevator is strong enough to carry 130,000 pounds, heavier than most commercial trucks. But the newest Ford class carriers have completely redesigned this critical elevator system for speed. Instead of traditional cables, they use powerful electromagnetic linear motors to lift the platforms. Think of it as a giant magnetic levitation train but one that operates vertically. These new elevators move 24,000 pounds of aircraft and weapons at 150 feet per minute. The older system only moved 10,500 pounds at just 100 feet per minute. That represents more than double the capacity and is 50% faster than before. Why does this incredible speed matter so much? Because every second counts in an operation. When a carrier is in a high tempo situation, it needs jets in the air fast. The Ford class can sustain 160 sorties per day for over a month straight without stopping. In a surge scenario, it can launch an incredible 270 sorties in a single day. Compare that to the Nimitz class, which maxes out at 120 sorties, with a surge of 240. That significant difference in launch capability could be the factor that wins or loses a battle. The Ford class also has 11 advanced high-speed elevators, just for moving weapons and ammunition. This new system is designed so bombs and missiles never cross paths with aircraft movement. Weapons magazines are twice as tall, allowing weapons to be stored fully assembled and ready. This automation is so efficient, Ford-class ships operate with 700 fewer crew members, saving billions. You might wonder, why not just keep all the jets parked on the flight deck? The flight deck is one of the most hazardous places on the entire planet. Foreign object debris, or FOD, is the number one enemy of jet engines. A loose screw or a small piece of metal can get sucked into an engine, causing failure. Storing jets in the hangar reduces this exposure and keeps the sensitive engine is safe. Then there is the weather. Carriers operate in harsh conditions, including massive storms. Salt spray corrodes metal, and high winds can damage aircraft that are not secured properly. Below deck, they are shielded by layers of steel and reinforced protective bulkheads. The hangar bay isn't just storage. It is a heavily armored fortress. None of this advanced technology would be possible without the dedicated men and women involved. The crew is a highly trained team where every single person has a specific, critical job. Aviation Boatswain's mates, or ABs, control all movement on the hangar and flight decks. They direct aircraft, operate the elevators, and ensure nothing crashes into anything else. Then there are the aviation mechanics who diagnose and repair these complex billion dollar systems. And we cannot forget the ordnance handlers who work with live explosives on a moving ship. The future of carrier aviation is already taking shape 
with unmanned combat aircraft. The MQ-25 Stingray, an unmanned refueling drone, will extend the range of the F-35C. Storing fighter jets is about engineering, logistics, and the dedication of thousands of sailors. The next time you see a carrier, remember the billions in technology happening below the deck. The U.S. Navy isn't just storing jets, it is storing the future of air power. As long as these floating fortresses sail, America's air dominance will remain unchallenged.